the whole world? Yeah. Okay. Gunmetal from the Army Painter. To start with, with a little bit of uh, the technical contrast medium. Tweed jackets. Make sure you post your minis up so that we can have more minis to show and talk about. Next time, we are going to be painting Power Rangers. Welcome back to Painting Happy Little Minis. I'm Gretchen. I'm Dave. And today we are painting Power Rangers, Dave. Go, go, Power Rangers. Rangers. Apparently, like apparently that's how it goes. Yeah, it? It is. I, I have been you practicing are, for the last that half was hour. So good. <laughs> I was I wasn't expecting you to to just go for it. To like actually that. be able to do it. Yeah. Do you remember how, how to morph? No. No, that's everything it's else is morphing, morphing time. time. And then you gotta press. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's fine. You can you can press it. Yeah, it's there's form a lot. Of, form of an old person. Ah, that's just me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there we go. That's yes. Good. Yeah, Sorry, I, I didn't watch they, a lot of Power Rangers. I know we were as a talking kid. about it. You you missed out. You were born during the wrong time, and it's not yep. your fault that you missed out on the greatest thing the '90s had to offer. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Power Rangers are way better than alcohol. Uh, <laughs> Power Rangers were the best. Uh, they were. They were I indeed. loved them. Uh, Leona and I were talking about how much we loved Power Rangers and right. how much we would play Power Rangers, not uh, board games like these uh, okay. or tabletop games, uh, but I would fight imaginary putty men. Okay, yeah. cool. Not nice. like you know what putty men are. You're like, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming I know what they are. <laughs> they may not be the same thing in my mind, and your reminiscences may be different. But uh, yes. Fun time. Yeah. So this is a game no. from Renegade. It is. Yes. yes. A game from Renegade Studios. We have the box behind us here. All um, of them. All of them. So we have uh, Heroes of the Grid. So we're painting models from that today. We are. And then we have the at the top. Oh, which you can't quite see you on the You can't really see it. I'm sorry. sorry. That one there is uh, Shattered yes. Grid. <laughs> That's the expansion. You can see the is abs the peeking from the White it's Ranger. True. <laughs> yep. And we have uh, the Cyclopsis uh -huh. Deluxe figure and the Megazord Deluxe yes. figure as well. Um, so why did we point those out even though they're off screen? We pointed them out because you can win them. All you have to do is hashtag Go Go, go Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Yeah. Yes. You're in sync back mm, I'm it's working good. on it. It's pretty good. I'm working on it. Yeah. I just knocked her down. It's Eventually good. I'll get there. <laughs> I believe in you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Hashtag go go Power Rangers. Use that. Win things. Win things. Yes, on the things <laughs> on the wall, not me. Uh, you're also going to win whichever miniatures. Uh, win. So, you're winning, winning all the miniatures we have out here today. So, like Pudgy Pig, Pudgy which Pig. I'm a little bit disappointed in the naming of that. <laughs> I I didn't even know that I had memories of this pig yep. until Leona like brought them forth. Right. Yep. I <laughs> I had sudden flashbacks that I I wasn't expecting to have. <laughs> I I see I would I would have called this one Spartan Bacon. Oh, that's a good one. Um, but we can see if anybody else can come up with another name for this guy. Well, you know. Power Rangers are still going strong. They are. They've been continuously coming out with new seasons of different kinds of Power Rangers for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Since long the Mighty than... Morphin. Uh, right. You have hope. You could be a writer. You could Eventually, You could live yeah. your dream. You could go and be like, Power Rangers, hire me. This guy, changing this guy's name. <laughs> that'll be my contribution. Exactly. To the Power Rangers Done. universe. But that'll be cool. So we have him. What else do we have here? Um, does she have, I don't have her card. She is Madam Whoa! Whoa. No, Madam Whoa. Whoa. Uh -huh. As in pain and sorrow. W-O-E. W-O-E. Uh, it must be her enormous hands that bring that woe. I would have woe if I had her hands yep. as well. Me too. And we have uh, the pink Power Ranger. Kimberly. Kimberly. We have the... Sorry, Kimberly. We have the Red Power Ranger, Jason. That's what a leader does. 
That's, that's the pose does. of a leader, too. That's, of a leader. I like he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to be painting Trini. Very good. Very good. Yes, I, I, I have started already because I needed I to uh, test a mix that I was doing. Somebody started. Yeah. I know. He got a jump start. It's not fair. It is totally fair. And who else do you have over uh, there? Let's so have a look at the others. I have, I have Bones. Um, Not to be confused with um, <laughs> Bones from Star Trek. Right. Yes. <laughs> Dr. McCoy. Um, and I paused I, there because I was going to say Sylvester McCoy, but that's, that's the actor who played <laughs> Doctor Who. Uh, I can't really get her out, so okay. she's just on there. Okay. Uh, that's Peter okay. Repulsa. So that's the main villainess. She's Fantastic. the yeah, she's the naughty one. <laughs> she's bringing these monsters and. I was gonna say, Carl in the chat has asked if uh, exclamation points are required on the hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, you know, so. I'm no. not gonna say they're required, but they're definitely enjoyed. The, yes. And encouraged. Um, <laughs> I tried to do air guitar before the show started, and I did air banjo instead because I don't know about instruments, apparently. <laughs> but I riffed what? really well on that air banjo. Yeah, it was fantastic air banjo. <laughs> it was the best ba air banjo ever. It was. I think it was mainly because you kicked your elbow up <laughs> rather than... It, it, the enthusiasm's the important part. Like, it, that's, was. it was. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. I, I don't know what that... That looked more like a... I have no idea what air, that was. Something no else, like loot or something. I <laughs> it possibly was an air boot <laughs> or a uh, flute. <laughs> okay, we, who else yeah, do we have? Who else do we have? Um, we'll see who else is we have. that which ranger is that? That's the that black. is the blue ranger. Blue so ranger? that's oh. Billy. Billy. Billy the blue ranger. Billy the blue ranger. And and then Zach. Zach the, the black black ranger. ranger. I sprayed those with Corex okay. black because I thought they're yep. kind of dark colors yep. with chaos black. Yeah. Yep. Chaos Black. Thank you. That, that axe <laughs> James is... James says Air enormous. Mandolin. Air Mandolin. That's <laughs> what that was. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You could riff. You know, they have... I've, I've Wait heard... until I do my air sitar. <laughs> I will not do my air sitar. Uh, you could be like the most magical bard. Okay. Um, <laughs> did we put Billy up? We put Billy up. We put up. Billy up. We haven't put... Ooh, who's this? Uh, put this? Who is that? That's Nasty, Nasty Knight. Knight. Nasty Knight. Yeah. Let's put my hand behind it so you can see that. Nasty. So he's... Yep. Look at that. Ferocious. It could... It, I mean, with those... It looks like it's got three lions on the front. They might be hounds. If they're hounds, they could be the... Um, no, they're lions. Oh, lions. Okay. Yep. He could, he might, he might, he could have been used as the mountain oh, in A Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah, can, like without any scaling issues. That would be a crossover. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, these are very large miniatures. Like, there's my, oh my yeah, goodness, they are. A, They're quite large. Put like a paint pot there next there's to There's some minis behind you if you want to showcase the sizing difference. No, nah, that's okay. Okay. But uh, yeah, so quite neat. We're going to get stuck into painting these and uh, see how many we can get done because these will be included. They will be. They'll go home. In the prize. With our, with our giveaway, they will, you will get officially painted minis from us as well. Yep. So you have to speed run. Hashtag go, go Power Rangers. Yeah. Go, go, Dave and Gretchen. Go, go, Dave and Gretchen. Gretchen. Yeah, for sure. I like it. That would work. I want that as my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> we'll record it later. <laughs> uh, okay. So oh, we have some in. cool things. Okay, so Joshua Davis says, I met the Green Ranger when I was a very young kiddo at some event in Texas. And Jason James said, I auditioned for the show twice. Oh, wow. I, if I knew where they were holding auditions for the newer uh, Power Rangers. You would totally be there. I would. <laughs> I would. I'd be like, you know what, guys? I, I could, I could do this. I could totally send me in, coach. Send me in, coach. <laughs> I've been practicing for this role since I was four. And um, my, my spirit animal will be Velociraptor. Oh my god, I would love to be on Dino Force. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I, that's the dream. Um, <laughs> I think I think you can do it. I think you should try. Can we say hi to people in the chat? Yeah, there's so many today. Everyone's like, 
Cool. So many. Do you want me to read this one? Okay, so yeah. in the YouTube, we have uh, Timothy, Walt, AJ, uh, David Moffat, uh, Russell, Shane, uh, James, Lord Draconum. Wow. Excellent. Yeah. Loads. And we have Joshua and Jason and Carl and Dave all over here on the Facebook chats. Fantastic. So we have welcome. quite welcome, the group welcome, with welcome. us today. Nice. As, uh, as a good guy or a bad guy? Gretchen would totally be a good guy. I would want to be a Power Ranger. I already, I'm getting to play a bad guy this weekend in a horror film. I want to play a, I want to play a good guy too. I want to yep. branch it out. And also, it's the Power Rangers. I want to be a Power Ranger. <laughs> yep, that's fair <laughs> enough. I don't know what color I would be. Oh, Kat, your youth is showing. Um, <laughs> it's the bangs that, that have done it. I, I, um, so I got my hair cut for the, uh, the, for the, the movie, movie, for the part in the movie that we're filming this weekend. And it's set in 1986, which is before I was born. Um, and Let's keep going. <laughs> But I have realized that having the bangs definitely uh, de-ages me <laughs> right. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I, haven't, in appearance. I haven't had my hair cut recently, so uh, the gray is definitely okay. showing. <laughs> it's fine. It it's certainly good. is. Just fine. <laughs> but uh, no, that's... That's cool. I think you would definitely be um, you would definitely be a Power Ranger. I would totally be a Power Ranger, and my animal would definitely be a Velociraptor. Could and your you weapon be... would be a longsword. Oh, my weapon would totally be a longsword. Yep. Could you be an orange Power Ranger? Ooh, that would be fun. It's like orange. bright. It is know? a bright color. Chat. What color Power Ranger would I be? Oh, it looks on YouTube like Gretchen. I mean, Russell says. Gretchen would be either green or black and blue. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking green. Like green Ranger? Yeah. I oh, and Walt it. has a good point. We need to figure out what color Dave would be. What color would I be? Yeah, yes. what color would you be, Dave? Well, I would be, I would be a villain. And based, oh. on, based on the naming convention <laughs> of uh, the characters in this, uh, this set, I would be Dastardly Dave. I love it. Would you have a painter-themed, like, get up? Would you be, because, I mean... I would have a black cloak yes. and a black beret. I like it. And possibly I'd be able to twirl a mustache. Yes. Yeah? I'm down for this. I love this so much. It's so good. Mm. <laughs> where's, there we go. Where's our fan nerd of this? I want this so bad. There you um, go, people. Uh, Gretchen is Green Power Ranger, the like a Velociraptor. Power that's my that's, that's my thing. thing. That's my long sword. Oh, James is saying Dave would be the Grey Ranger. <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. Aww. When I was little, Thanks, I James. never I never had a color for myself. <laughs> when I would play, whenever I was little, right? I, I was just I was just Gretchen. I, I was like friend of Power Rangers, but I myself wasn't a Power Ranger oh, okay. when I would play pretend. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the logic I had there, but. Yeah. No, that's cool. Uh, that's Kelly cool. says hello to everyone. Hello, Kelly. Uh, Jason says that he had the day off work because of the rain, and there's nowhere else he'd rather be than spending the next few hours with us. <gasps> so sweet. You also need to put in hashtag go go Power Rangers. Yes. Because that compliment alone will not win you the prize. But uh, thank you, James. Oh, Jason. Thank you, Jason. James? Uh, Jason. Jason. Jason, right? Jason, James. No wonder I was confused. Get it right. <laughs> Learn. That's, the t text is so tiny on the screen over there. Squint. Anyway. <laughs> squint. Okay, yeah. I'll squint next time. Excellent. Okay. But the um, Before we go too much further, and when I say too much further, I get to the point where I've almost finished this one. Um, I wanted to try, uh, obviously with yellow, the 
sort of the quickest way for us to, to mm -hmm. get a few power ranges done um, is to use uh, the contrast paints from Citadel mm -hmm. in workshop. Uh, so the card that I've got here for Trini, Trini Kwan, um, it's not super bright, the yellow. Yeah. It, it has, it's like, it's a little bit more, um, it's, it's kind of orangey down here, but it's less orange up here and more brown. So I didn't want to use the, um, the straight Ayandan yellow, which is a very orange kind of yellow, or the Nasdreg yellow, which is a very brown kind of yellow. So I've gone for a mix of the two. So it's about a 50-50 mix just on the my palette here. So that's some of the um, Ayandan yellow, washing up my brush, getting some of the Nasdreg yellow, just mixing those together to get me something that uh, gives me a bit of that, that orange and brown um, and still gives me a, a great um, sort of yellow there. Just notice there's a little bit of we've got a little tide mark left on the top there, so I can come back and do some highlighting there uh, once everything else is done. Also, also Dave Timothy yep. says dastardly deadly Dave. Dastardly deadly Dave. <laughs> All right, and Russell Higgins says the card is wrong, Dave. She's just so bright. You need shades to look at her. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll work up to that. We'll work up to that. <laughs> uh, so these are larger minis than we're accustomed to painting recently. Yep. yep. Larger um, scale minis. Larger yeah. scale minis, yeah. What are good tips to keep uh, like streak-free brush strokes? Because you're talking how you started her before and you didn't want to leave streaks on her. All oh, right. Yep. Yep. One of the things with the, uh, particularly the contrast paints, is that um, unlike a like standard um, paint, it's uh, difficult when you bring them, sort of if you have one section that's dried and you bring another section up to it, when you go, oh, if you want to spill over onto it, you'll, you're sort of doubling the layer of mm -hmm. sort of translucent yellow, yellow in this case. Um, so, yeah, you've got to be super careful with the um, with the contrast paints when you're working with that. Uh, if you're working with regular paints uh, that don't have those um, qualities, I guess, you could end up, you could just overlap a little bit more and it should be fine. On this one, if I have any of those areas where um, it'll happen like so, as I said, on the on the top here, I let that sit a little bit too long mm -hmm. when we were goofing around. When I was goofing around, really. Uh, which left a little, what I like to call a tide mark mm -hmm. there. So what I'll need to do there is I'll just come back with some yellow and a little bit of white um, or a little bit of uh, ivory to um, when I do the highlight. So I'll cover that over um, when I come back to do that. But it shouldn't take too long. And now, so I'm going to grab myself a uh, finer brush so that I can paint these uh, diamonds on her boots. But uh, yeah, because they are larger minis, there's the sort of the, you do have those larger surface areas to cover. Um, I would recommend just working with a larger, larger brush. So this is the, the size we've got here. Um, something like a shade brush from Citadel will allow you to um, put down a lot of paint all at once and you can get in there and get it nice and smooth, that kind of thing. If you're working with smaller brushes, you end up with lots of little dabs mm -hmm. over it. Um, so larger brush, larger model, larger brush is the way to go for base coats. You can always come back with highlighting and details and finer brushes. That's what I would suggest. <laughs> what are you kicking off with for? Uh, I am starting uh, off with volupsh, uh, volupsus, blah, blah, blah. Volu Pink. Volupus. Yes, that would be a word. 
Yep. Well, um, it is now. <laughs> uh, but I am using that for Rita's dress, the base of her dress. Okay. Um, and I'm layering it so it's kind of a darker pink since okay. she is a villain. Yep. Um, her card that she has shows mostly purples. It doesn't show the back or any of the armor she has, so I'm going to have to do guesswork for that. Okay. Um, as I'm going to be honest, if I just go on, like, yes. Uh huh. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I only re really remember her from, like, the B Madonna bustier up. Like, I, this is the most I remember of her. I remember her laugh, and I remember her face. And what was her pose? Uh, <laughs> we were cackling earlier. Uh, <laughs> um, but... Um, I don't recall anything on the back or that, that furry bit on on her. Um, so I'm just going to go with what looks nice. I'll, I'll look up some, some pictures for you. Uh, Excellent. Leona's going to do some searching, some researching. Some researching. They're very fuzzy memories. You know who, go, what I go, do remember? Go, go, Google Images. <laughs> You know what I do remember a lot from the original Mighty Morphin that I'm kind of sad we don't have incorporated into this game that What's I that? know of? Vulcan Skull. Do you re does that ring a bell no. at all? They were, they were the two civilian guys from the high school okay. who would be at the cool hangout spots and they tried to be bullies. Right. But they were really just like the comedic bumbling duo. I okay. just kept getting into trouble. <laughs> right. I can imagine the trope. Yeah. I can, I can, I can almost mm. picture them. They were very, very punk themed. Uh, and what were they called? Bulk and Skull. Bulk and Skull. When you first said it, I thought you were saying Vulcan Skull. <laughs> and I was like, that's another connection to Star Trek. Yeah. What the hell? Um, but I, I assume that Vulcan Skull was not actually a, the name of a character in Power Rangers. It's all good. Uh, Walt says, what size are the figures? Uh, they would probably be... Maybe 54 millimeter? Coming up sort of towards that, that sort of uh, spot. So, let me just... Uh, yeah, probably about 54 mil. So, plenty of uh, plenty of space to paint. But as I say, for a board game, you can uh, really make them any size, any size you like. Well, we can't make them any size, but there's no necessity for them to be anything. But. Uh, there we go. So, say uh, people might notice that I'm wearing the same shirt that I had on last week. Yeah, you just slept here. I did. It's fine. The entire week, I. I they forgot to let you out. I self quarantined in the back. Yep. Yeah. They forgot to release you. They did. Thankfully, there was plenty of uh, plenty of soap to wash my shirts in. Loads of it. Loads of it. Hmm? Is that a little jokey joke? A little jokey joke? No, seriously, there's plenty of it. <laughs> oh, soap. Soapy soap. Not jokey joke. Right, I get it. Okay. Um, so we go. I'm going to let, uh, let that yellow dry. Well, it says next up we have to paint She-Ra and He-Man. That'd be cool. Do we know anybody who's doing a He-Man? Was she a game? I don't, don't think, think so. so. <laughs> okay. I don't think so. Maybe we can find somebody. Gretchen, okay. on further research, uh -huh. I found the back is white. It's just white? Yeah. Okay, I'll have so to touch up can, those bits. But I feel like you can do whatever you want. Really. I think as we determined earlier when we were talking about it, like, white on a costume that you wear into battle. 
It's not always it's the best idea. Either a mark of extreme confidence or a severe lack in judgment. Right. A little bit of column uh, A. Yeah. A little bit of column B. I know that I said that I would wait until I'd finished the mm -hmm. first one entirely, but I'm not going to. I'm going to move on to get the red started on Jason Lee Scott. He is our cool jock stereotype. Okay. So. There he um, is. Mike says, which Jim game is this abs. for? This is for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. From and Renegade Game yes. Studios. And we are doing a giveaway of everything and here and all of the things up there that you can <laughs> just barely see. They're included, too. Um, all you have to do is hashtag Go Go Power Rangers. Go Go Power Rangers. Um, and your best guitar riff impression. <laughs> <laughs> yes, email that. Just email that, uh, put it in a GIF or a <laughs> JPEG. Put it in a format and send that to Leona. Any sort of format. <laughs> Formats are good. <laughs> put it up online, hashtag Game Trade Media. Um, <laughs> that would be awesome. It will not help you in the giveaway at all, but it will amuse us greatly. Yeah. So we can see, like, I guess the models are large. I guess that 54 mil scale, I think. Um, it's very easy just to slap some contrast paint all over them. It is, and there's That's enough cool. colors to really, I mean, it's Power Rangers, so there's a lot of primary colors. There's not yeah. a lot of uh, <laughs> difficulties in that. And if you, so just be careful as you're doing it. It doesn't really matter if you do go over onto the white areas. We'll come back and I'll show you how to do that. Touch that up in a few minutes. But uh, if you can keep most of it off them, it'll just speed up your, uh, your paint job. Yeah. And my struggle is going to be when I do all these little gold accents. Yeah. That's going to be my struggle, but it's okay. That's why I went for the uh, the simple costumes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I figured if you're going to do like a speed run on the ranger group. Right. The since it's easier for you to get a bulk done, then I could at least have one villain done yeah. for yeah. the giveaway. That's a good idea. So. So you picked the, the, the main villain, right? I did. I picked the main villain. The number one boss lady. Number one boss lady. She's going to get it done. Excellent. That's cool. It must have been, I'm not sure what I was doing during uh, the 90s. I can't remember. It was so like long you ago. can't remember the 90s at all? or? Well, certainly not the last part of it, but anyway. Um, <laughs> No, actually, I was at college. Oh, well, that uh, explains during, everything. Okay. In the first part of the 90s. So. Uh, okay, so. Doing this with uh, the contrast paint Blood, uh, Blood Angels Red. Mm -hmm. And when I have actually splashed up over onto the white areas, it does look like some little uh, blood splatters. <laughs> But if anywhere it's red, so that the enemy can't see him bleed. Sure. Yeah. That's the main reason, right? Yeah. Anybody there? You've heard that before, haven't you? I've heard that before. Not for Power Rangers, okay. but I've heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> There's something very, uh, very luchador about their masks as well, which is cool. But there we go. Okay. <laughs> so, how's all the uh, the preparation for the for the movie this weekend? Ah, yeah. So, got my bangs cut. Okay. I'm officially ready to tease my hair 
so large it just <laughs> holds all the secrets. Um, <laughs> we'll see how many pencils and pens we can hide all in my hair. Nice. Um, cool. So that'll be fun. Um, it's a pretty, it's not a scene that has a whole lot of dialogue in it. Okay. Um, so I don't really have to worry super horribly about memorizing anything. Oh, okay. Um, but it'll, it'll be really fun. I'm excited. Um, I'll have behind the scenes pictures and stuff, but I don't know if I'll be able to post those right away sure. for promotional reasons. Um, yeah. That makes sense. I think that should be cool. Should be a lot of fun. It'll be very fun. I am totally pumped for uh, for filming and for being able to say I took part in a campy, literally <laughs> campy horror. Film. Yeah, horror flick, <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then after that, you can go straight to your audition for Vel Velocipaster Vel Two. Velocipaster Two. Yeah. Um. I don't know where and when that's taking place, but I'm gonna be there. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Velocipaster, um, it came out a while ago, <laughs> and it's delightful if Amazing. you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> um, they're aware of what they're sharing with the world. Sure. Um, uh, it, uh, do you think they have the same level of awareness of what they're sharing with the world as uh, the folks who did Sharknado? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. They, 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 have, they have the awareness. Um, and so, yeah, that's coming out with a sequel. Amazing. It is. If they can get a sequel to that, I'm sure they can go for like four or five films. Oh, I'm sure. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm positive. <laughs> Velocipasta 17, The Rapture. The Raptor Rapture. Perfect. Tell them, why haven't you started your writing career? I have. Oh. I just need to uh, get a few more followers on that, that particular account. <laughs> but be perfect. I just realized there as I turned uh, this guy sit down that I was sticking the sword into the paper. But be careful. I think by the time I finish uh, all the red sections on here, it'll be time to go back to the yellow Power Ranger. This is more the purple I wanted after I just put other purple down. That's cool. We'll mix them. Yeah. Oh, the shayish purple? Is that what you're using now? Yeah. Okay. Shayish purple. Shayish purple. Because the Magos purple was too close to the pink. Right. I wasn't getting the full villainry color scheme going. <laughs> right. And I have to, I have to paint her Madonna. Uh, bustier. Bustier. There we go. Gotta make that happen. Her '90s Madonna. Her '90s Madonna. There we go. There's a pop culture reference I can remember. Okay. There we go. There we got. How are the things going in the chat? Oh, there's Mike. Hi, Mike. It's Mike, he said his boys would absolutely love this game. I expect they would. Has he put the hashtag in? Hashtag go go power rangers. I'm hoping. You hoping he has? Yeah. I think he has. I can be confident. And just so people know, we'll choose a winner after the stream. After the stream? I'll pray. Yes. Off camera, after the stream. That's the best. Well, it's the best that's way the to way go. we do it. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you're part of our... Uh, Facebook Pain. group, so you yes. can see when that's announced. Oh, I see. Yeah. That was Leona pointing out that we should be plugging the Facebook group. My bad. That's exactly what that <laughs> is. Pick up what Leona's <laughs> laying down, Dave. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
totally what you were doing. It's okay. But so that I can let that red dry while I find my yellow. Oh, wait, Did you actually, lose your yellow already? No, no, I'm going to use this yellow. So some sun yellow from Vallejo. Uh, let's take a look at some miniatures. From the, speaking of the uh, Facebook group, <laughs> let's take a look at some miniatures from the Painting Happy Little Minis Facebook group. Oh, sorry. I just noticed that somebody said, watching you paint in 4K, so I'm noticing every errant brush stroke. Oh, no. It's like, oh, there are a ton more. <laughs> yes. Don't never watch never watch the show in 4K. Um, excellent. So first up, we've got Dave Shrump's Spirit Hosts in Three Color Schemes. So when we were painting our Spirit Hosts last week, I really love these. They those are amazing, are aren't they? So pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah, Dave's done a spectacular job on this, and I think uh, he went through and described how he did each one yep. on the uh, on the group. So if you're on a member, join up. So you can scroll back, find this post, and f see how uh, Dave did it. And I know he, he mentioned that the ones in the middle were, he, he felt they were kind of candy cornish. No, they look fiery. They do, they do. I think they look fantastic. Maybe burnt candy corn if you like get a little black singe mark on the end. But, yeah. but no, they look, uh, they look awesome, Dave. Very cool. I, I think my favorite ones are the purple ones. Yeah, the purple look yeah. spectacular. Stephen got his Mimics finished, uh, which are cool. We always love Mimics here. The chest is great, but uh, I love, always love the barrel. Uh, I think the barrel. you painted that chest. Pardon? I think you painted that chest. I think Dave. we did paint that chest um, a, a little while ago. Yeah, quite a bit. But uh, yeah, definitely looking good. And I'm, I'm wondering if that, uh, if your dungeon that you're photographing on is uh, 3D printed there, Stephen. I think it might be. But anyway, moving on. Looking good, Steve. Good work. <laughs> John Kowaleski has been posting some uh, miniatures from Monster That's Fight so Club's cool. um, upcoming Cyberpunk Red range. So I enjoy the cyberpunk aesthetic. Yeah, it's definitely cool. It's uh, it's, it's very broad. There's so many different things that can fit in there, as long as they're mashed up. <laughs> as long as they're mashed up properly. Yeah. I think uh, they definitely work. But uh, yeah, so I think uh, Monster Fight Club and um, is it R. Talisorian? Yeah. Who's doing the Cyberpunk Red RPG? Yeah. Are teaming up, and uh, it looks, uh, looks great. I also going to give a big shout out to the, um, the terrain, who painted the terrain, because that. Um, that graffiti work is Oh, is the graffiti lovely. Look, work looks awesome. Time. Yeah, love that. But uh, yeah, this model looks super cool. Thanks for posting this, John. Nice one. Oh, David Moffat is uh, working on some uh, on a Lord of Contagion and some Plague Marines. Well, they definitely look plaguey. They do, don't they? They do. Yep, I'm a big fan of uh, Nurgle in the 40,000 universe. Um, lots of corruption and rot and rust and uh, decay. So yeah, he's the Lord of Decay. So, but uh, no, these are looking good. I love the. Uh, this is also a riff on the classic um, Death Guard color scheme, which is the sort of the bone armor with the green shoulder pads. Hmm. But uh, looking great. Nice work, Dave. Oh, Fabrice. Work in progress. What is this? What is this model? I don't know. It looks it's a fantastic. minotaur. It's a minotaur? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Like screaming. Screaming minotaur. Where's it from? I want to know. Fabrice, tell us. Tell us. But uh, yeah, looking very cool. I think that uh, pose is awesome. Um, I'm enjoying the, uh, like the blue and the orange brown. Mm -hmm. It's working lovely. But uh, yeah, looking great. And those horns are very cool. Nice one. Good work, Fabrice. Looking great. Okay, the Bonehenge Covenant, icon uh, an iconic miniature. Covenant. Uh. I love the face. Those eyes are 
for for a mini like oh, yeah, it's yeah. really hard to get the white and then the pupil and then yep. the eyebrow and not have it look smushed. Right. Yep. That's true. I'm going to I'm I think this might be uh, from Reaper. The mini might be from Reaper. But they have a lot of um, a lot of minis that have those so there's nice big eyes in the um, that particular style. But I love this one. I particularly love the uh, the flowers in the hair. Yeah. They look uh, they look great. They really set it off and they connect sort of every part of the miniature. So that the whites, the that orange, the green leaves in the hair as well, connecting to the um, green on the legs. Yeah, great uh, great choices there, Miniatures Eve. Nice work. Joel Coronado is practicing some OSL, some object source lighting. Ooh. And I want to know where this model comes from, too. I like that it's blue lighting on that kind of rusty. Yeah. It looks almost like you'd see him walking on, like, an abandoned ship or something. Oh, okay. Right here. Okay. Yeah. You see that? Because, it, because of the... Uh, just that corrosion. Just the corrosion with the blue lighting, so, to me, yeah. is a very nautical, almost kind yeah. of... Almost uh, moon, moonlight kind of thing? Yeah. Right, okay. Like it's spooky. Like everything would be quiet and you'd just hear tink, tink, tink. Mm. It'd be that guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, would he, what would he be doing with the tink, tink, tink? That'd be would the walking. Be like, that would just be the oh, little okay. thunk of it. That's also metal. He has... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that would be... That's the, yeah. Maybe he's also a little drippy. I don't know. Oh, I don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but no, I think it looks fantastic, Joel. I, I, I think your work on the, the OSL is great. And I love that it's coming out from the elbow joints as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think my favorite part is on the model's right arm there, that elbow joint. It's, it's coming out from there and reflecting on the armor mm -hmm. on its side. So, yeah, looking really nice, Joel. Even without the OSL, that would have been a fantastic looking paint job, but uh, I think the OSL has really punched it up. Nice work. Oh, Robert, Attic Whisperers from Reaper. That's scary. That is some super creepy. I don't like what they're called. Yeah. <laughs> that just sounds like a bad day. That... Oh yeah, well, it, I, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a connection to uh, like flowers in the attic. I wasn't even Andrews thinking that, but I don't from, like uh, the the 80s. The, the childlike vibe of it. Like nothing scary. My my teacher in high school once told me, my creative writing teacher, nothing is scarier than the sound of children where they're not supposed to be. Right. Yep. And that's what that says to me. Yes. <laughs> These are children that are not what they're supposed to be. Exactly. Let alone where. Child's laughter. Or whispers or songs when there's no children around. Yeah. Oh, so That's whispering from the attic. Yeah. So you're saying I should set up a something in your attic <laughs> to say, Gretchen, what are you doing? Just like little whispers. <laughs> you'd yeah, you'd have to get your daughters. If it's just you, I'm gonna be like, Dave, get out of my attic. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we thought that through. Oh, can we go back for a sec? Sorry. Um, talking about the paint jobs. Um, Robert, I, I'm really liking them. I think uh, I'm liking your, your shading and highlighting on the blue. It's looking very cool. Um, nice and sort of desaturated. And uh, the, the stuffed animals or the stuffed doll that they have there is... Uh, is looking very cool too. Nice work. Good one. Oh, Sean Horrocks. Weekend game result was a draw. We're playing some Warcry. It's looking very good. And I'm just going to take a quick. So we've got some trees. The all of the um, the buildings on that are from mm -hmm. a Games Workshop um, mausoleum cemetery set, um, oh. which looking super cool. Um, I've painted some of these in the past, like a, quite a long time ago. Oh, okay. But I um, haven't painted these recently, but uh, no, Sean's done a really nice job on these. They look great. And uh, Warcry is an awesome game. And just down in the bottom right-hand corner, I can see a like, glimpse of wing. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Um, so I'm wondering if one of the sides is the flesh eaters caught, which are like ghouls and bats and that kind of thing. Mm. But yeah, looking awesome, Sean. Very nice. I would happily play on that table. Oh, Dreambug's gone crazy. Look at that. Wow. Ooh. Wizard in training. Look at the face. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's insane. That's super sweet. It's got that. It's got a wonderful, um, like stained glass feel yeah. to that base, and then uh, with the wizard sort of leaning back, conjuring something from that rose. Uh, yeah, it looks fantastic. It's uh, really nicely done there, June. One of the other things that I like is uh, particularly on the sort of the knees uh, and around on the braces there, the green is very much a, a yellow green. Mm -hmm. So it's working um, well with that, that purple. And it almost makes it look um, not quite glowy. Right, yep, but almost, yeah, mm -hmm. almost there. But uh, yeah, looking fantastic, great work. Okay. And that's it for now, all right. So we will cool. jump back in. I'm going to, uh, where, did, where did I put the, Sorry, there it is. Talk about the Facebook group? Yeah. Certainly, we can do that. Uh, would you like to? Sure, huh? I'll do oh, that okay. spiel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if you want to see your minis up whenever we go through minis, make sure that you are posting pictures um, preferably with descriptions, so we know what they are. Uh, <laughs> um, on that, Wednesday, that could be a Leona thing where she just didn't grab them. Uh, hey, uh, okay, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna give Leona, yeah, the benefit of the doubt. Okay, I'm gonna believe in Leona like Leona believes in me. Okay. <laughs> So post so your minis up. We're taking everything on faith now. Is that how, it, is that how it's going to work? Okay, post right. your minis up and make sure they're there by Wednesday. And every Wednesday, Leona will pull from what has been posted so that we can show them on the show. And we will have another bout of minis. So if you are new to our chat or our stream and you haven't seen yours and you posted them up before, there is still hope. You might see them yet in, these, in this hour that we have left. The hour remaining. <laughs> Cool. That is true. With the hour remaining, uh, what are your plans? What are plans for the hour remaining? For your minis. We're probably it's gonna sit here and do some painting. Like the Sounds wind. good. Um, I'm gonna attempt to get all of the colors onto my mini <laughs> and all of the little details um, properly done. Excellent. Uh, my plan is to get some highlighting done on the, uh, particularly in the helmets, that's where I'm going to focus, because um, they don't have much of their faces exposed, so the, the helmet, so detailing the, the, uh, the spirit animal that's on there is going to be uh, kind of important to pull that out. So I'm getting a little bit of highlighting on the lion, lion head there. What colors are you using? For this, I'm using uh, some sun yellow, which is this bright yellow here, and some uh, white, just straight up white from the Vallejo model color range. Okay. Yep, and I'm still using the purple going back through. She has little strips of fabric around her headdress. Uh, so I'm trying to have steady hands <laughs> to make those look nice. There's a question from Facebook. Quick question. I just got a Vallejo metallic medium mainly for my Transformers minis. When mixing it with a red, for example, is it generally a 50-50 mix? A twenty-five seventy-five or something else. That's a very good question that, unfortunately, I do not know the answer to. Uh, I've never actually used the metallic medium before. Um, I think uh, you might be best to just to err on the side of more of the coloured paint 
than the metallic medium. Mm -hmm. And I'd probably be leaning towards that 75 for the paint, 25 for the medium to give it that slight sort of pearlescence. So that, that would be my, my suggestion there. Uh, have a go with it. See what you might need to adjust. Um, I think previously on the show I mentioned that, uh, that I'm not, I don't usually use a lot of colored metallics. You don't like things when they shine. I didn't. Or sparkle. Yes, we've discussed before <laughs> that I lack whimsy. And which is why Gretchen and I work so well together because we make Gretchen up. is pure whimsy <laughs> in human form. Uh, you say we make up for it. We do. We do. We make it happen. But I, what I'm going to do now is something. Um, I posted some photo. Well, I posted a photo in the group. But I'm going to pop these on the spinner and see if uh, you can switch to those. Okay, there we go. So I painted up uh, some of these little um, sort of Cthulhu troglodyte fishmen um, for a friend of mine, and started. You do have some little shine on there. Yep. Yeah, I started with. Uh, I start with. Yeah, you can see it better with your eyeballs than with the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I started by uh, basing it these guys with uh, this Vallejo blue-green. So um, it's a little bit more, more intense in your life. The, it's washing out a little bit there. But then I mixed in some of the uh, Model Air um, aluminium and uh, yeah, mixed that in for some highlights. So I did, I did a couple of layers of highlights on them. Uh, but yeah. So it turned out pretty cool. And I, yeah. then the uh, originally I painted like light colored eyes, so I wanted them to kind of look like an anglerfish yeah. kind of uh, head, but against the light colored um, scales, it didn't really work too well. I think the black looks really nice. I think maybe yellow could have also looked nice. That was my yeah. Yellow was going to be my sort of third option. See, we're on the same page. Yep, definitely cool. And one of the things I did enjoy doing as well is that. Just to add that extra human touch. Mm -hmm. It was giving them that sort of pinkish bottom lip. Yeah, I like that. It just adds that extra, um, extra something a little, little, just a little bit different. But yeah, definitely cool. And I used one of the uh, Citadel paints, um, Pterodon Turquoise, and I painted that over the scales once I'd done everything. So yeah, there we go. Nice. Your uh, your influences. Yeah, sort of they paid off. Running off on me. Yeah. <laughs> I've done some colored. You've done something shiny. Some colored glittery things. If there there's ever go. a time to, I think using it for things like that, where it's not just like glitter, but it's, I want this to look kind of wet in juxtaposition to everything else, yep. is a very good use. Good use of it. Thank you. Um. <laughs> I appreciate your uh, recommending. I try <laughs> try some more of it. But yeah, I was pretty happy with how they turned out. So. Uh, Mike says, with the metal medium glaze inks over it, otherwise the white of the metal medium will make the colors look pastel. Oh, uh, okay. That's a good point. Yeah. So, actually, yeah, when I, as I was uh, looking with these ones, the, um, sorry if you can switch, yeah. So with these models, um, there we go. Let me try and, it was almost like there was a strange time lapse, lag delay. Anyway. Um, but uh, with these, when I mix the, that really bright silver, the aluminum there, into the blue-green, uh, it did go very pale very quickly. So um, I'm not sure to, to what extent the metallic medium will do that. But if I wanted to uh, darken this up and still leave that 
Um, Silver Shine there. Um, yeah, getting a, an ink or a washer and that sort of thing, thinning them down a bit and putting it carefully over the, the uh, mm -hmm. thing to, just to tint it. So if you do a couple of tinting layers like that, you'll get a sort of more rich kind of feel to it. Or I'm wondering, perhaps this was uh, the suggestion, is if you were to like start with red and you wanted to have like a metallic red, mm -hmm. like um, on Optimus Prime, for example, uh, or on Megazord, <laughs> uh, that you could thin down the metallic medium and paint that over the red. Yeah, I wonder, that if, I wonder how that would work. Because hmm. that's how like the color shifters work. Right is you have something and then you put it over it like a glaze. Okay, right. And they're, okay. they're uh, metallic, some of right. them. Oh, metal medium. Look at that. Thank you, Leona. We could test it out. Uh, yes, well, I'm gonna test it out on the red Power Ranger. Yay. I'll shake this up. Let's try it, let's give it a go. Let's experiment. I hope your experiment goes better than my cooking experiment did yesterday. <laughs> right. It didn't go wrong, it just didn't go right. You're, you're trying to put your no, I was trying to put a sacrifice in my chocolate volcano cakes <laughs> via gummy bears. As you do. As you do. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I checked my, my science, my, like my uh, chemistry, I should say, with uh, how it should work. Um, because basically, in order for it to work, uh, you would take your little gummy and you'd put it into your ganache and you'd freeze your ganache, but right. make sure it was a ganache with a low melting temp. And then you would have a very high oven Right. So that the outside of the cakes cooked fully, and then it would melt your ganache, but it would keep it enough of a good temperature through the via the freezing, uh, so that the gummy itself wouldn't melt. Right. Okay. And the professional chemist that I happen to know said it was a very good idea. So, <laughs> haha. Uh, and it almost worked. Okay. But not quite. Um, so it didn't fail, but it also didn't work. Right. Okay. Um, with mixed results. Mixed results. <laughs> That's cool. I think it's interesting because it's giving, it's got some, there are some areas that still need to dry, but it's definitely given that, uh, kind of sheen to it. It is looking a little bit pink, but. Yeah, I think there's a little bit I missed on the, let me paint the front of these. But uh, yeah, hmm. I think that worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Cool. I'll let that dry for a little bit. I'll come back to that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump back into painting her. Just a couple of little uh, highlights here on the on her helmet to go, and then I will. Um, oh, oh! I just noticed. What did you do? I need to paint her n the nose of the lion on her helmet white. <laughs> well, gray, grayish white. So now I think that's time to. Well, I'm going to grab some uh, Vallejo pale gray, or, or light gray, sorry. And I'll put that down, the shading on the white. And also use this, where I mentioned that uh, occasionally there are, might be spots where you paint up over the white. Mm -hmm. um, particularly around the face and uh, just a couple of other, other spots there. I'm going to go back and cover those up with this light gray. So when I come back with the white later, I can just go straight over and highlight that. Yeah, 
So you can see that. Some kind of face color. Face color? Yeah, something easy and simple. I don't know what that is. Okay. She, she, she just has a, a pale... Oh, there's a pale flesh. Yeah, there we go. And I think we have a, um, a salmon rose. So you might want to start with the salmon rose and highlight Ooh, with that. That's a really good idea. I like that. Got to. I'm going to give that a bit more of a shake. <laughs> Some of these paints we haven't used before, so... Oh, yeah. With, uh, giving them that shake. I think uh, Walt might be uh, might have had his thesaurus out. I think it was when we were looking at the fishmen. Cool, neat, spooky, very nice. <laughs> but they were fun to paint. There were like eight of them, I think. And the leader had this enormous sort of sword. It looked like it was carved from the uh, the jaw of a. Mighty fish. Okay, so you can see there I'm not taking oh. the gray. Why are you putting the gray there? Um, the gray to, uh, for shading. Gotcha. Uh, and also uh, there are certain areas where I need to cover uh, some of the like overbrushing from the yellow. And the white won't really do it too well, but the gray allows me to do the, get the coverage over that yellow and um, act as a base coat for the white. So, Thankfully, in most cases, I didn't, um, didn't get too much yellow on the white. But it's just a nice quick way of Touching that up, and then in around the the gloves here, I can paint the fingers uh, with the gray underneath here as well, and then come back and highlight them with the white. So they provide that shadow kind of instantly. So I'll do this sort of thing on her first, and then uh, come back and do it on. Uh, the leader, Jason. Oh, question from Kat. Oh, what is Gretchen painting? That's a good question. <laughs> I, I am <laughs> painting Rita Repulsa, and she's the main villainess. She's the one who's like sending all the spooky monster things uh, to whichever, uh, I don't know what town. <laughs> Hmm? Uh, I don't know what town or city Mighty Morphin takes place in. Um, I, I feel like it's California. I feel like that would be right. But she sends the spooky things there for the Power Rangers to fight and is usually what makes them get bigger so they have to get their mechs involved. Right. You know, as you do. So she's sort of the, she's the, the big bad. Yeah. Yeah. She's the big bad. She's the one that laughs at the end of every episode. And she's like, I'll get you next time. Right. What? So right now I am using the Salmon Rose and I'll highlight it with the Pale Flesh. And then for her outfit, I have been using the Volupus Pink and I have been using Shyish Purple. So, next up Excellent. I'll have... That's looking cool. Um, Are you going to go to like the black and then the gold? Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Okay. Also, Walt said it's his birthday. Aw, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Walt. Share the same birthday as my mom. Very cool. Three, two, one. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to away, you. Happy birthday, dear Walt and Gretchen's mom. 
Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Is, it, is hip, that hip, the thing hooray. you're supposed to do? That's what we've always done in my family. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. It is super cool and um, yet it's not done here. So disappointing. <laughs> my daughters love it on their birthdays. That's so yeah, cute. Yeah, we do a little hip hip hooray. Yeah. You should totally, totally steal it. We are down with that. Also, AJ on YouTube has a good comment. Oh. Uh, right. <laughs> wherever, the, wherever the Power Rangers are from, it's surrounded by gullies and rock pits. <laughs> that is very accurate. They, li they live on the back lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, because in the original, they had it spliced in with the Japanese. Okay. So if you watch the original Mighty Morphin, um, all of the scenes with them in their suits fighting take place in Japan, and it's really ah. obvious. And then all of the scenes of them not in uniform are uh, filmed in America. Filmed in America or in Australia? That's Should also I possible. That, I know that there are episodes filmed in Australia. That is also very possible. They always fall. They do. That's funny. Is there a monster that um, sort of roll or that rolls? Like it, it turns into some sort of roly poly kind of I thing, and it rolls down is. the hill, and then that sounds pops out. like something that would definitely be in yeah. Power Rangers. It does. Also, perfectly suited to. Uh, terrain of rock pits and gullies. Okay. That just happens sometimes. Yeah, I'm sure that there. So we can see that, um, I'm starting to get that fade there between the, the light gray and the white. Oh yeah, here we go. You are asking about a rolling oh. monster? Uh, um, oh, sorry. Oh, you're talking about cat? Yeah. Right. Yep. Vallejo Rocks and another in back country of Simi Valley. It's all sorts of cheapy TV shows were filmed. Interesting. Yeah. Also, there was a monster that could roll. Oh, okay. His cool. name was Soka Dillo. Okay. <laughs> he could transform into a ball and roll at his opponents. <laughs> Because that's my preferred method. Yep. <laughs> Many of you thought this was from years of eating cake. It's not. It's I'm from rolling at your opponents. <laughs> I'm now perfectly suited to fight the Power Rangers <laughs> as Dastardly Deadly Dave. Yes. Yeah. I'll have to fight you. We need to make it happen. <laughs> that can be our um, audition reel. It's just me fighting yeah. you. Yep. Me rolling, <laughs> rolling down a hill. You'll never get away with it, Dave. You have to cackle. Yep. Should totally do that. Okay. Oh, one thing I forgot to. Uh, oh, actually, I'll come back and show these. Um, painting on the fingers. Bring that up a clip, get closer. So at the moment, I've, I've just painted gray over the, the whole finger there. Or the whole fist, I guess. And I just come back and paint the fingers in nice and simple. Because they're, they are at this larger scale, um, it does make it easier to, to paint. And anybody watching it 4K, avert your eyes. <laughs> One more on this hand. Actually, what I'm going to do, just quickly. So around their, um, around their mouth, they have 
um, they all have this white this white bodysuit thing. I yes. guess it's I guess it's part of the power range of power. Yeah. So they all have they all get like gray white skin. That's just like part of the suit. Okay. <laughs> it's to help hide their um... hide their identity. Yeah. I see. I'm totally fine with that. I understand. Once I finish these gloves and the face, I can go back and uh, I'm gonna paint the buckle is different. Uh, is a, like a black or a silver, I think. And the, uh, her knives look like they've got uh, kind of gold um, Pommels and hilts. Yeah, a lot of gold accents happen. So, do that. For these, which will be fine. Just paint that a little bit quicker, and then I painted in a little bit of the, the light gray on the boots in around the sort of the creases at the ankle. So now just coming back to touch those up. Hmm? Let's see if I can get an even smaller brush. I'm trying to try to paint her makeup on a little okay. bit. Okay. <laughs> or at least a, a little bit of makeup. You're being super daring. I'm being daring. Excellent. Being bold. It's definitely what you want to do with... Uh, if I can open this. Rita Repulsa. It might be Gretchen Proof. Oh, nope. No, it's not. It's escaping. That's <laughs> what it is. Uh, <laughs> I have to go back and watch the replay to see that. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's fine. It's all good. Okay, right here. There we go. Just painting in lips in the area around the mouth. All good. I'll work for the moment. And then some black. Now on the uh, on their masks here in this artwork it has a lot of the sort of the classic artwork style sort of um, reflections, light reflection. So I think what I'm going to do just to switch things up a little bit for Trini here with her yellow suit, I'm going to throw some uh, purple hmm. in those reflections. Just for a little bit of fun, see how that goes. But uh, first up, I have to paint all those other areas black. But you can see sort of how, how little time I've spent on the, <laughs> um, the yellow and the white so far, which is the bulk of the model. So you can come back and do um, some nice extra details on everything else to uh, really make your models stand out. You're chuckling there for a second. What was that one about? That wasn't chuckling. No. Okay. I'm trying to trying to do this lady's makeup. <laughs> okay. I'm <laughs> involved. Is she just not sitting still for you, or...? It's just, you know, it's so hard to get that, that villainous that, look, just so. Just so, <laughs> right. Um. So I'm glad I've chosen these models with, uh, with the masks. Just a quick little, uh, little bit around the, the mouth and we're all good. So it would seem. Hmm? I said, so it would seem. Yep. No, she'll she'll hurry up quicker once I uh, start filling in the bit of black, and then right. go back and start actually kind of having 
doing those gold accents. Yeah, doing all the little accent work and whatnot. Get her okay. staff painted. She should That'd be good. Be a little quick there. Okay. Now, the yellow Power Ranger here does have um, sort of teeth that are shown on the on a card. Where is she? So you can see them here on the side. There's teeth. There, well, yeah, for in in the lion's mouth. Oh, I thought you meant. <laughs> oh. I thought you meant. Uh, oh, she had tiny teeth. Yeah, I was like, what? She was grinning, or growling, or something like that. No, sorry, on the uh, on the visor, on the mask, or the the helmet, she has uh, has some teeth. So I'm going to go and paint the section black first. Add the purple to the highlights for it, for the shine, and then come back and paint those teeth over the top. She also has black eyes on the lines. So I'll just paint those in now. It'll be all good. I do have to come back and do that nose. Okay. And lastly, the final weapon there. I think I should do the gold first or the silver. What would you like to see? Hmm. Silver first. Silver first? So they're both fighting over the gold? Sure. When we get to that point? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we good. Uh, Walt says, have you guys heard from Rick? Uh, we have. He posts stuff up on uh, all the social media for Rick Rolls America. Rick Rolls America, yeah. Yeah, he posts it up. It's there. At the moment, he is in uh, Reno at Gamma, which is the Game uh, Manufacturers Association show, the Gamma Expo, uh, which runs until, I think it ends today, possibly tomorrow, not sure. But uh, yeah, he's out there. Um, I think he posted a photo of him hugging. An owlbear. An owlbear statue. Yeah. I hope he was the only one. <laughs> but knowing Rick, probably not. But, uh, yeah, so he's, he's really enjoying his trip uh, around. Um, I think his favorite thing is is very definitely talking to um, to people, getting involved in each of the local communities, oh, yeah. getting to know what they're like, what the store owners are like, what kind of events go on. It's definitely his uh, definitely his jam, without a doubt. I think. Uh, Towards the end of the month, uh, he'll be at GaryCon and Adepticon, which will be neat. Uh, I think he has some extra time in, out in Illinois. And in April, I think the first weekend in April is um, Board Game Expo. I think so. Which, which is a, um, a day that... Uh, Brought to you by the organizers of uh, Free RPG Day. Yeah. Uh, so there'll be uh, board gaming activities going on in your local, uh, friendly local game store. Packages that are being sent out, no doubt. So that's going to be super cool. But I think for that, he's going to be in Rochester, New York at Millennium Games. After that, I have no idea where he's going. You'll just no have idea. to stay tuned. Stay tuned. Head to yep. Rick Rolls America on um, Facebook, and you'll be all good. By the way, board game, the board game expo. Yep. Is uh, April fourth. 
April 4th. Cool. Excellent. Okay. Silver, you say first. I think we should do that first. Yes. Let's do silver first then. Silver seems like a, a good thing to do first. Really? I should do that second? Yeah. And nope. bronze third? Yeah. No, okay, right here. Switching it all up now. <laughs> How's she looking? Should we put her on the spinner, do you think, or? A little bit, a little bit. A little bit of time? Okay. A little bit more. In the meantime, I think we might look at some more models. Some more models while I, before I get deadly silent as I try yep. to trace over the swirls <laughs> on her robes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Before I'm left on my own. No. Sounds okay. good. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Oh yeah, Lee um, Lee Cavell pa posted these. Um, these are so bright. These goblins, yeah, they're fantastic. The squig. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm, he's so cute. It is. Uh, it is awesome. Uh, he definitely looks really cool. Um, my favorite model from this group, though, is the guy at the front, bottom left. He has a like a brazier on his back. Mm -hmm. And there's, pardon me, a little branch that's sticking up, and stuck on that is a mushroom. So he's like roasting a mushroom over the, the brazier. Um, looks really. You don't want to get hungry. On me, uh, looks really cool. Fantastic work there, Lee. I think um, painting is great, and also the switch up of the colors is um, is very exciting. But yeah, nice work. Oh my goodness, I've not seen this one before. White crow. That's a cool color scheme. Yeah. For the cauldron of blood, from the daughters of Cain. It's uh, it's amazing. This this model is huge. Um, so I don't know if you can see it, Gretchen, but in the middle, right in the middle uh -huh. of the photo, there's like a like a looks like a cup or a chalice, uh -huh. that kind of thing. Um, standing on top of that is another mini. Is a mini. There's a mini. Is like is the is the kind of the standard 28 mil mini. In the oh, middle there. So that is big. That that's like this big. That's yeah, like it's probably about yeah, probably about this tall. Yeah. But yeah, fantastic work there, Dwight. I think you've done some uh, really nice work with those those greens and uh, so you got the the yellow green going on there and also that um, on the stairs. Mm -hmm. It's got some a lot of blue green sort of punched in there. I feel like those are hard colors to make look so nice. Yeah. Yep. They can be for sure. But uh, Dwight's done an awesome job there. Nice work. It was great. Ah, uh, fantastic. <laughs> Everybody loves halflings, right? I love halflings so much. And when they're riding, I like the chicken shield. Yeah, a chicken shield. But did you, the did rooster you got, in the back. Rooster, yeah, riding an armored rooster. <laughs> That's terrifying. Roosters are—they're yep. not nice. They aren't pleasant. But, uh, but that's a halfling wizard riding that. <laughs> but, uh, a really big rooster. Yep. It looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. I love your color scheme too, Ryan. But uh, very cool. And for a second there, the screen went blank. <laughs> well, certainly they're on our monitor here, but I was a little bit worried there. I was like, I'm going to have to guess the rest. Uh, Michael painted up um, Irlal Frath. In Gale Force 9. That looks fantastic. I love the that you've been able to be so precise mm -hmm. on the uh, that web. Yeah, mine's not going to look like that. Yeah. That's that's not what that's going to be. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's taking your time. That's being super patient there. That's having more than two hours. That's having more than two hours, indeed. But uh, yeah, I'm loving the loving the colors you're using there. The purple and the the red and the the black. Looking great there, Michael. Nice work. Oh, Jeff Purcell built his stables. I wasn't sure if they were stables until I read the sign. <laughs> stables. They got a label. Yeah. But uh, that looks great. I'm wondering what, uh, what genre is it for? Is it for fantasy? Is it for Old West? That's a good question. I'm not sure. But it's got uh, sort of the tufts of grass growing on the roof. So not a desert. Oh, it could be a desert. It could be a desert. 
Maybe not like deep desert, like f desert fringe, maybe. Desert light. Desert light, indeed. Desert light, sounds tasty. Uh, but no, I, I'm loving this, Jeff. I think, um, yeah, it looks like you've used some, uh, some washers there over the, the wood um, to get that, uh, that variation. But yeah, looking very cool. Nice one. Oh my goodness. There we go. You can see the guy in the middle. <laughs> so that sword that he's carrying. Looks yeah, like that's it's carved from a tooth. The jawbone of uh, like a swordfish or something like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, these were a lot of fun to work on. They were quite cool. And uh, can't, oh, sorry, you can't quite pick it up in that photo there, but the bases are glossy. I went through and uh, painted them all with a gloss varnish as well. So just to really emphasize that um, swampy kind of feel, yeah. And David Hopkins, uh, oh, Panther Tank at 1 to 100 scale. So this is a 15 mil scale, the same scale as uh, Flames of War. So I'm not sure if this is a, this might be a Battlefront miniature. But uh, yeah, I think this is the um, Jagd Panther, the sort of hunting panther. You can see it doesn't have a turret mm -hmm. to traverse, just has that big gun. So definitely a, a tank hunter. But yeah, looking good, David. Nice work. I like the chips on it. So you can see the, um, you can see the... Uh, I like these. What do you call it? Undercoat. The Sorry, the, <laughs> the primer coat. So the original primer coat from the factory would have been that, um, that sort of reddish brown that you can see on the wheels and the skirt there. Yep. And then... Um, Painted over the top. Some of the um, tanks in like late war, uh, in the late World War II, for like the defense of Berlin, were cobbled together from sort of other tanks that had been damaged. Mm -hmm. So they just repaired other re repaired the tanks by taking pieces off other tanks and sticking them to things. So their camouflage schemes were different. Their um, some parts had just come from the factory and they only had the primer coat on them. That kind of thing. So I think it's always cool when you can uh, do a little bit of historical research and, and get that sort of action going on. But yeah, nice work, David. Looking great. Oh yeah. Yep. I that like how um, illustrative they look. Yeah, yeah, they do have that uh, that sort of comic book sort of style, don't they? Mm -hmm. Using the uh, the black lining there to um, to add to that impression. Sticking on those abs, <laughs> really getting that uh, that feel. But yeah, I like the the variety of colors, um, and he's tied them all together with the same color horn, um, isn't it? But uh, very good. And I think that top one's got some uh, tartan work. Yeah. On its uh, on its kilt. I don't know. I could be wrong, but it looks like it. I think it, it's a tough one because there are so many folds in it. So. But uh, yeah, nice work, Matt. Good one. Oh, Robert painted up this big red fallout truck, which looks uh, looks very cool. Very rusty. Super rusty. Yeah. Some great. Um, so I'm not sure if this was done with uh, sponge chipping, or uh, if you did this with a um, a chipping medium. So the chipping medium, you can sort of dab on with your brush over your base coat. So in this case, it would have been like a rusty metal base coat. Chip that, uh, dab that on, paint the red over the top, mm -hmm. and then peel the chipping medium off. Almost like a mask, kind of like a masking medium, I kind of think. Um, maybe not peel it off, maybe the, the paint will just sort of scrub off from those areas. But uh, a couple of different ways to do it, but I really like this. I think my favorite part is that the, the cab is just made for one. It sort of goes back in there, and that uh, that windshield looks awesome. Nice work, Rob. And 3D printed hag from Chris Gorka. Nice one. She does look. Uh, she looks very grim. She does. She looks yeah. properly spooky. Properly spooky. Exactly. It almost feels like her um, her lips are kind of peeled back from her teeth. Yeah. Her teeth there, and it's like. Like maybe her teeth are too big for her mouth. She might have stolen somebody else's. 
That's okay. weirder than I thought that was gonna go. Sorry. This is yeah, little gems. Go. Yep. Hidden little in, yeah. Hidden gems of uh, weirdness. But uh, again, I'm loving that like the bulk of it is very uh, desaturated, but then that purple, sort of the purplish blue you've got going on there, Chris, is super saturated. But uh, no, looks great. And her little apron of apron of skulls. Yeah. Well, you know how it is. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, that looks great. Excellent work, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, if you'd like to have your miniatures featured in our um, miniatures of the week segment, I guess is that what we're calling it? Yeah. That is now. Yep. There we go. Um, then join up on the uh, painting, fa painting Happy Little Minis Facebook page uh, and post photos of the, the things you're working on. And we will uh, not only hit like and subscribe, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll hit like and make comments and uh, offer encouragement and answer questions. Uh, but you may get a chance of them popping up on the show each week. And it's usually Wednesday when Leona goes through and picks out the uh, the entries for the week. I say entries, not really entries. But the <laughs> There's selections. no competition. <laughs> when Leona selects the selections for the week. The There's only... no competition for those, but there is a competition for the game that we're painting, uh, the minis that we're painting and the game that we're painting them for this week. If you use hashtag... Go, 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 go Power, Power Rangers. Rangers! Very good. I'm loving the enthusiasm that comes each and every time. We're getting, we're getting there. Um, you too can have a chance to win every Power Ranger thing back there. Right. So we got Heroes <laughs> of the Grid. We got, we got what? That's the base game. That's the base game. And then we have the Shattered Grid expansion. expansion. Um, and then we have Megazord Deluxe Figure and Cyclopsis Deluxe Figure. Fantastic. And you can win all of those, including some of them painted by Gretchen and myself, just by using the hashtag Go Go, go, go Power, Power Rangers. Rangers! I feel like there should have been a countdown. <laughs> I feel like that would have made our life a lot easier. So much easier. So, so much easier. Instead of just, we're not good at the eye contact. We're, or, we're or like, if, if, I think it maybe if Leona had used our um, like the implanted shock shock collar, shock collar yeah, thing. So yeah. if she had to press oh. the button and we could have gone, oh, 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 Power okay. Rangers. It's fine. It's good. That would have been perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you've trained us so well. I haven't. Um, I hadn't filled out my NDA, so. Uh, <laughs> get rid of her poor double chin that I accidentally gave her. What are you saying about double chins? Double chins are fantastic. <laughs> See? Mm, nothing wrong with double chins. That's good. I just accidentally gave her one. <laughs> right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Someone on Facebook says, I clearly need to pay slash post more. I'm sad when I'm not included in the show and tell. Oh, Carl. yes. Yes, you do, Carl. Yes. More. More work from Carl, please. We would love to have more of your work. There we go. There we go. Now she's... Now she looks like she's not making a weird face, and she actually kind of looks intimidating. <laughs> uh, instead of, yeah, yeah, she kind of went from being like nah to something a little more. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Dave's like, I don't believe that. Make those sounds again. Yeah. She looks a little bit how. <laughs> You see, look, I fixed her makeup. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. I always love it when Christian does this. <laughs> fix, fix the makeup. I fixed the makeup. 
No, it's not showing up too well on no, here. No, you it. can't see the colors as well. It's so much better in real There's life. There's a face, and it's a nice one. It's awesome. You're doing a great job. That's uh, that's yeah. super cool. Yeah. Yep. So she's um, she's making it. Happy. She's going to look fantastic on the spinner. She will, hopefully. There's still little bits of. I keep finding little white spots like you do. Right. Because I'm, I'm rushing. <laughs> yeah. I'm pulling a Dave. Well, she's got a lot of texture on there, so. Yeah. The paint isn't settling in into all those recesses. There we go. So what I'm doing with the, uh, so I'm using some hex lichen here, which is the purple, um, from uh, Vallejo Game Color. And I start off mixing that into the black and I'm painting it just on one side of the visor. So leaving, leaving one side completely black, painting it sort of in the middle here as a um, sort of first stage highlight. And then over in the edge, I paint some straight hex lichen there. And then over on the side here, I've already painted some straight up hex lichen. I might add a little bit of white to that purple. And then do a little highlight here on the end. Maybe a little bit more white. Bring that up. I don't know what now she has, like, her and, proper. Uh, I think that'll show up a little bit better on the spinner as well. Um, I'm going to come back with the, I mentioned I'd come back and paint the teeth that are here on the, the visor. So, starting with that light gray over the top. And then on this side as well. And of course, Cat must be screaming at the screen at the moment. Oh. So, I'm not using the miniature holder. I am. I only just realized. I have the other guy. The other guy's on the miniature holder. Um, there we go. And then some white. I am properly. Cat did mention, mention earlier that she was happy to see we were using the mineral right. holders. <laughs> That's so. good. Cool. And now she'll be unhappy. <laughs> Sorry, cat. Here we go. I'm gonna paint the gold. Okay, I'll switch over. Put it back on the miniature holder. These ones are only just just fit in these small yeah. chamber holders. The bases are large. I'm guessing those bases are about 45 millimeters across. Just a little bit bigger than 40 millimeter, which is what the biggest size that these are designed for. So, grab a little bit of gold. Actually, what I'm gonna do, just to add some nice depth to it, is um, one of my favorite methods of painting gold is starting with um, hammered copper, again from the Vallejo Game Color range. I'll put out some, uh, some glorious gold, also from the Game Color range. And so I start by, start by painting the hammered copper on wherever I want the the gold. It's got good uh, like a good coverage over black. So sometimes uh, the yellow sort of nature of gold means that uh, a gold paint can be a little bit translucent. Something I haven't tried. I haven't tried any of the golds yet from the um, Vallejo metal range. 
um, slightly larger pots and that sort of thing. I've tried some of the uh, some of the silvers, some of the darker silvers, which are really nice, but I haven't tried any of the golds yet. But I think they might have a um, more opaque kind of result over black. So if time is of the essence, you might want to check those out. Yeah, but you have a little bit of time. I? I have 20 minutes. Hmm? 20 minutes? You can do it. Yeah, it's fine. I might not get, uh, what do you call it, Jason done. But, but I suppose I have to, don't I, if we're sending it out to people. We are. What are you chuckling at, Leona? I don't know. You sounded worried. I sounded worried. Like, I am worried. Yeah, you were like, well, I have to, I have to paint Jason. And I gotta, Jason. I gotta get it finished. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I when we don't finish things, it's okay. We don't have to finish things. It made me laugh. I don't know why. Okay. I'm sorry. Were you laughing at my pain? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe the pain. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Let's, uh, Paint faster. It's okay. You can say slacker at the end of that. <laughs> ah. Okay, so you can see there the um, hammered copper. And then just highlight it with the glorious gold. And gives a lot of a um, lot of depth immediately. And uh, but if you want it even more, something you can do afterwards is uh, give it a, a quick thin wash of some purple. Purple always add be great at adding depth to to gold for that really sort of rich gold peel. Got those opposite colors on the color wheel going with that one. Yep. And if you want an antique gold feel, um, rather than using the purple, if you go with a like a brown kind of wash, because you'll sort of dull it down a little bit. It's one of the fun things with uh, with gold because gold doesn't react too much react to many other elements around it. It doesn't oxidize as quickly as things like copper and uh, bronze and iron. So even your antique gold is going to look gold. So there we go. It's going to um, Just a quick, a little quick wash on the on the blades to pick out the detail there, and then come back with the um, aluminum and uh, do the edge highlights so they look nice and sharp. Cool. So I'll leave him, leave her. Sorry, for a little bit. Let's put her on the spinner. I'm wondering what colors we should do for the bases. Black? Oh, Straight up black, yeah, do you think? Yeah. Keep it simple, Dave. Keep it simple? Okay. Keep it easy. Yeah. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Too late, says he, reaching for his second miniature of the, of the day. There we go. Man, so, so many abs. <laughs> Look at all the abs on this guy. Ridiculous. So it's going to coming in here and tightening up the uh, those diamonds. They're going over the red. You can see how the light gray has got some great coverage there. I'll bring that up a little bit closer to the camera. There we go. 
can also see a couple of spots where I, I didn't paint right up to the to those diamonds. So I'll come back at the end with some uh, a little bit of more of that Blood Angels red. Not sure how I'm feeling about that shiny uh, shiny helmet there. Yeah. The sparkly helmet. It's glistening in the sun. It was a fun experiment, but I might need to go back. There we go. I'm just going to do a little bit, of, a bit faster job on this guy because we only have 15 minutes. Oh no. I'm going to hurry up with these highlights <laughs> so I can just power through those, uh... Go, go, power, Gretchen. You can do it. Oh, no. Yeah. Form of a paintbrush. Oh, no. That's not it. <laughs> That's you. That's the one the twin powers activate. Form of painting water. You would be by the power of paintbrush. Yep. There we go. All right, all right, all right. That's gonna, that's gonna have to do. It's gonna have to do. Okay. So I want to get this staff done. <laughs> oh yeah. Sure. Yep. Yeah. So there's a whole, a whole system here of, of detail that I'm not prepared for. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's the well. I'm gonna say the advantage. It's the advantage of um, working with or sort of sculpting larger models like this. You can add a lot of extra detail that just at, at 28 mil wouldn't um, wouldn't show up. Or would be incredibly exaggerated. Right. I want to make sure that whoever gets this has a completed mini. Yep. And uh a nice one. <laughs> right. Well, we have a meeting after this, don't we? So. I don't have a meeting. You have a meeting? I don't think I do. I have a filming. Oh, okay. Sorry. My mistake. I thought maybe you'd have a little, little bit of extra time to, to work on it. <laughs> but no. Yeah, I think so. I think it's, uh, I think it was well worth trying. That was Jason James. Also someone said go, go, brush lickers. Go, go, what? Brush lickers. Ah, ah. Yep. That'll be the hashtag next week. Next week, speaking of next week, we will be painting uh, the March um, WizKids Paint Night kit. Yeah. With a young red dragon. Young red dragon. Young red dragon. So I'm excited. Definitely Please. cool. Get that Vallejo paint going. With, uh, for those who don't know, uh, WizKids and have teamed up with Vallejo and um, Realmsmith TV to create uh, paint night kits uh, that go out to friendly local game stores uh, where you have a particular miniature for the month, um, in this case, the Young Red Dragon. And there is a limited uh, number of paints that are uh, to be used on that, if you're gonna use the sort of straight up paint recipe. Um, and last time we did it, Leona, you were able to post up a picture of the, the paints? Yeah. Are you able to do that again? Okay, cool, excellent. So before next week's show, Leona will be posting up a picture of the paints that we'll be using. Uh, so if you want to, you can run out and grab those and grab a Young Red Dragon off the shelves in your uh, local store and paint along with us. And it'll be fun. Which will be cool, yep. And I'm guessing that, again, that we'll probably both go rogue. Go rogue. Probably. We're, we're really bad at following directions. <laughs> but we will, uh, we will keep it within the, that limited set of colors. 
it's always a, a nice fun challenge to try that. Definitely. Okay. Do you think next week, Dave, you can talk a little bit about painting red? Then we can talk about a little bit about painting red? Sure. Yeah. Are you saying that one of us should at least try to use red? Yeah. Okay. Well, we could both use red and then see how that red changes based on... The colors we put it next to? Yeah. And the way that we apply it? Yeah. And that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a smart thing. Yep. Okay. So that's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll both use red and we'll both use it in different ways. And uh, yeah, we can definitely talk about um, how to go about using it. Red's one of my favorite colors to paint with, I gotta say. Just because there are so many ways that you can uh, tackle it, so many different results you can get. AJ says, I do need a red dragon to sit alongside my <laughs> <laughs> and white. Nice. Maybe, they'll, Maybe there will be a giveaway. Maybe we'll give one away. Maybe, AJ. Maybe. Maybe. I'm much better at and painting dragons than I am at Rita. <laughs> You're doing a fantastic job on Rita. It looks so good. I'm super impressed. Oh, my gosh. The, the tiny, tiny little details. Yeah. So for those of you tiny at Tiny details home are always going to be tough. Who so. forget, I have a fused joint in my hand. <laughs> and so I don't have dexterity. You sometimes find yourself moving the model rather than moving your paintbrush. Uh, I try to move that. the model. So this joint yep. is fused. Right. Um, so to try to keep it steady, I try to, uh, I have it against my wrist and I have my forearm braced. Right. <laughs> so I can try to get a, a smooth little line. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna thin down some of this, uh, Blood Angels Red, Blood Angels Red. Let's thin down a little bit and glaze that over the top of the, That's why I get the so helmet. excited whenever we do organic things, because I'm like, oh, no straight lines. Right. None ever. That would make sense. Okay. There we go. Looking good. Now I'm just going to paint uh, belt buckle, visor, and enormous Conan sword. It does have that Conan feel to it. It does. It does. And they're putting all the all the weight in around the the hilt there. Seems like a strange thing to do. Sword wise. Don't need balance in a sword. Okay. Just enthusiasm. Right. <laughs> when you got muscles like this guy, I'm telling you. <laughs> hmm? Jason. Yep. Jason Lee Scott. It's unimportant. We just need to remember he's the red. Who was the um, who was the actor in Mole Rats? Was that Jason Scott Lee? I have no idea. Jason, just Jason Lee, maybe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But again, big models, lots of lots of surface area. So yeah, definitely giving yourself a little bit of time when you're painting these. More than two hours? Well, to paint the whole lot, yeah, definitely. I think about, for the power ranges, probably um, give yourself about an hour. 
Yeah, they're not as... Not as intense as yeah. uh, somebody like Rita. Rita Repulsa. Yep. She is coming along. Looking awesome. How much time we got? Five minutes. Oh, Five golly. minutes. Can you do it? Oh, golly. I was so proud last time. I was like, oh, I finished it. It looks great. Karma's like, excuse me. <laughs> you, you made fun of Dave. Oh, Gretchen. Oh, Gretchen. You'll be fine. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. I'm not finished yet either. I'm going to recommend we paint the, the bases off camera. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to see us spending five minutes just painting black on bases. You don't know what the people want. No, I've got a fair idea. Type in the chat now <laughs> if you want to see. Do you, do you want to see us paint bases or, or no? Dave and Gretchen paint black. Settle the, uh, settle the fight. Fight! Hashtag paint black bases. <laughs> no, hashtag go, go, power rangers. Exactly. So see if you can win. All of this. All of this. Okay. Everything. All from Renegade Game Studios. That's a good point. Yeah, it's actually, it's like the full set, so. Yeah, which is really cool. When does this come out? Is it out now? It is out now. Out now. So if you don't win it today, you can head into your local game store and pick up these super cool models. Check them out. Yeah. They're not quite yeah. action figure size, but yeah, they've got that, they have that feel to them. They look cool, though. They do. Okay. The Megatron is big, though. Pardon? The Megazord? Megazord. Wow. Yep. Megazord. That one's big. Megazord is big. AJ says... Only if you paint the bases with the black 3.0. Oh, there we go. No. No. We'd be here for another two hours. I don't think I have a 3.0 in my kit. Pardon? Nah. The brush is too tiny. Too tiny. Someone on Facebook said, don't paint the bases. <laughs> so don't, they don't, said, do not. Do not paint the bases? Correct. Leave them white? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe just don't show us painting. Oh, the okay. Don't show us. Okay, right. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> I understand. Ooh. All right. That makes sense. Can we sense. see them on the spinner? On the spinner, we sure I, can. I only have one. One Madonna of her <laughs> One. boosty done. Yeah, they're yeah, both done. It's okay. Just because I could have put this, the gold over there. It's very hard to get Hammer all of here. these little gold swirls so meticulously done. I think people are going to be very excited to see it, and the winner is going to be super excited to receive it. When you do receive it and you play your first game, you can uh, take a photo and post it in the Painting Happy Little Minis Facebook group. It's a good idea. We are, I think we're up, what are we, 1620, 1630 members? Yeah. Something like that. Very impressive. Yeah, there are 27 new members. 27 new members? That awesome. I have to greet. Awesome. So I'm going to do that later. Okay. Um, I mentioned aluminum before. I'm just going to grab a little bit of that out. So I need to go back and. Uh... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna plop a little bit of red that's supposed to be on her, and then and that's that's as far as I'm getting done today. Yeah. Okay. Whoever receives Ooh. it can finish her off. She is. 
You did a great job. And may That's they have awesome. better dexterity. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to take uh, her off for a sec. Time up. Aha! Uh -huh. Just to paint in the aluminum, or aluminum. Hey. There we go. There she She's go. coming around. Check She's her out. She's coming around. You look so good. Yeah! Looks awesome. Get in that face, man. That was hard. I was so hard. I've started her for whoever gets to finish her. There we go. And just putting a little bit of aluminum along the edges <laughs> of the sword. Make it look sharp. Sharp? Sharp. Super sharp. Super sharp. Super sharp. Power okay. Ranger sharp. <laughs> One that would be able to slice and dice pudgy pig. Oh. Very quickly. I like the pig. Me too. Sliced and diced as bacon. <laughs> Who? Okay. That was tough. That was a tough one. Radio. Bam. Look at that. Boom. I think you've done a fantastic job on her. Given me awesome. a lot of time, I'm very happy with that. Yeah. No, she looks great. I've done the hardest parts for whoever gets to finish it. This is true. <laughs> this is true. I've done the face. I've done swirls. The swirls. Yep, for sure. We'll have to write down the uh, write down the details so that uh, oh. people know what colors you used. Yes, there's still plenty of swirls left, but it's it's all someone else's problem now. <laughs> 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 so, if you want this to be your problem, if you want this to be your problem, use hashtag Go Go Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Excellent. Yes, that was very cool. Um, was. Thank you very much, uh, Renegade Game Studios, for sending through a copy of all yeah. the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. All the expansions that the expansions we have that we'll be uh, sending out to the winner of our giveaway today. And make sure that if you're participating in that giveaway, you are part of our group on Facebook, Painting Happy Little Minis. Um, otherwise, you won't know if you've won. Yep. That would be sad. That wouldn't work. And if you don't win, head into your local game store, pick up a copy of Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. It's out now. It is. Out now. Is it? Yeah, and, uh, out now. And check out uh, some of these super cool, probably, I'm thinking 54 millimeter scale. Yeah. Not minis. so many minis. Not so many minis. Yeah. yeah. Um, next okay. week, we're going to do uh, The Young Red Dragon by WizKids, yep. and we're going to use the same. Um, paint setup that Vallejo used for their paint nights. Yep, exactly. Um, it might so. not be the same dragon, but we're going to use the same paints, and we're going to see what we do with that. And so, will It will be the same dragon? Oh! Yeah. And it'll be a red dragon, so I should wear the shirt again next You week. should. You know what? Just make that your shirt from now on. Just a standard Dave look. Maybe I should. I don't be know. Nice. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well... <laughs> We will see you guys next week when we paint the red dragons. Yep. I'm Gretchen. I'm Dave. And we'll see you at your friendly local game store. Thanks for watching Painting Happy Little Minis. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.